everyone! Today's video is a bit different from all of my other previous videos, as you can see and hear. First of all, I've never done a voiceover before, and second of all, I've never done a sewing vlog before. To quickly tell you what I'm doing right here, I'm just planning out my project. As you know, well planned is half made. But since I'm extra, I've decided to also draw what I'm going to do, which is kind of pointless since I know exactly what I'm going to do and it's very simple, but I wanted to draw, <laughs> so <laughs> that's what I'm doing. So, as you've seen from the title already, uh, this is a thrift flip, which means that I've bought a piece of clothing from the thrift store that I'm going to make into a new piece of clothing that fits me better than the original one. I bought the skirt because I fell in love with the pattern and the colour of the fabric, but as you can see, it's way too big and completely shapeless. And my idea, as you saw in my drawings, is to make this potato sack into a short A-line skirt. For this project, I decided to trace the skirt I already owned, because the shape was similar to the skirt I wanted to make. But, to be quite honest, I probably wouldn't do this again, because it's a lot of work to make sure everything is straight and symmetrical, and overall it was a lot of excess work when you can find patterns similar to this quite easily. So I wouldn't recommend doing this, but it's what I did. <laughs> As you can see, I use newspaper for the patterns because I'm a poor uni student, <laughs> but it does the job just fine. And just to be clear, this is not meant to be a tutorial at all. This is simply a vlog that I decided to film just to motivate myself to get this project done. So here I'm ripping open the one and only <laughs> side seam and after that I'm cutting off the elastic band so the fabric is a rectangle again and I can start working with it. After my tea, I pinned the patterns to the fabric and proceeded to then cut them out. Even though I cut out most of the parts during the first day, I still had to cut out some of the pocket pieces, like this one here, before I could get to the sewing itself.
So, of course, the first thing I did with my trusted sewing machine was finishing the raw edges of the fabrics with a cross stitch so they wouldn't unravel while I was doing everything else. Also, it would be good to mention that I also made a lining out of some spare satin I found from my fabric stash. That's what you're seeing right now, so I thought it would be good to explain that. At this point, I was already finishing the hems of both the outer layer and the lining. So that's what I'm doing right here. At this point in the process, I realized that the waistband wasn't sturdy enough, so I had to run to the fabric shop and get some iron-on strengthening fabric that I'm just ironing inside the waistband right here. And lastly, I'm just sewing on the waistband, and that is the skirt done. <laughs> 